always, always on the road. All right, welcome back, guys. Um, this, uh, this chapter, this lesson is actually pretty important. We're going to be looking at something today that you're going to be using pretty much for the rest of your life and definitely for the rest of your school career in, in uh, up until high school for at least. So I do recommend you pay attention to this lesson. So um, just looking at here, I which operations would you use to find the answer to this question? I hope, if anything, that you can see subtraction and, and division will be a key here. And if we, if you can say that to yourself, we've won half the battles right there. So let's pretend we have a situation where Tom won a contest. Now, the, the problem here is in Canada, it's the law to answer a skill testing question. I don't, don't know if you've ever flipped over the back of anything you, you've entered in. In order to win, you have to answer a skill testing question in order to claim the prize. And here Tom has to answer this question to win a 52 inch TV. Oh no, what is he ever going to do? So here is his question. Nine plus three times six minus four equals a free TV. So how many answers can you find for this question? I'll let you pause there. How many, how many answers can you come up with for this question? And then I want you to write down what strategy you use for each method that you did. Now, the other thing is the correct answer is 123. And if you manage to get that answer, what strategy did you use to get that answer? So the idea here is when you solve a problem that uses more than one operation, which we just saw, it had multiplication, subtraction, we've seen some division already all jumbled up in one different question the order is the big you know the big key to the to solving the uh, the problem so if i said evaluate the expression three plus six times four now we're going to talk about the words evaluate and expression in a sec here but you might be able to infer what that means three plus six times four well if you add first you get 9 times 4 equals 36. So when I say add, where we get this 9 is from this 3 plus 6. And 9 times 4 is 36, as we all know. But what if we had multiplied first? And here, we have that that's 6 times 4. Well, that gave us our 24. So here we have the 3 plus 24 equals 27. They're definitely not the same answer. So we have to do this. To avoid getting these two answers, there has to be rules that multiplication is done before addition. Someone has come up with these, these great and wonderful rules that help us all get the same answer because if we don't, we're gonna have multiple answers, especially the more operations we have in a question, the more different answers we can have and that's not gonna work out very well. So there are some rules to how we're gonna do this. So if we do multiplication first, following the, the rule I just mentioned, it'd be three plus six times four is three plus 24 is, so 27 is the in fact the correct answer here. So let's step back here and, and address a couple of things here. The first one is an expression is a mathematical statement with numbers and operations. It's called an expression, okay? And here's some examples. 3 plus 2 equals 5 is an expression. Or 18 divided by 9 equals 2 is an expression. Or 5 minus 1 equals 4 is an expression. I'm sure you can think of almost a bajillion of these that help would help, uh, sorry, give an example of an expression. When we find the answer, when we calculate the answer, it's called we're evaluating the expression. I don't know why we can't just say the word answer. The mathematical term is evaluate. That's the same as answer. Okay. So evaluate equals just find that darn answer. Okay. Second thing we need to address here is something, a concept called bedmas. And you're going to hear this come up a lot in math classes. But what does it mean? Well, the B. The B stands for brackets. 
So an example of a mathematical expression could be, now remember expression meant just, you know, five minus one equals four. A mathematical expression using brackets could be in brackets, three plus four minus six times nine. Okay, that's a multi, you know, multiple operation problem. Okay, how are we gonna do it? Well, notice the B is first in Bedmus. That means we always do the operations in brackets first. And that being three plus four will happen before the multiplication even. What's next? Well, the E. The E stands for exponents. And the good news for you guys is you don't have to worry about exponents for about a year or two. Um, so in the meantime, you can quiver in fear of that bad word exponents. Maybe it'll you know, keep you up at night with all the nightmares that you're going to have on exponents. You don't even know what they are. I dare you to look up and learn what they are. I dare, a double dog dare you. So an example of a mathematical expression could be 4 squared plus 9 minus 3. Okay, that has an exponent in it. And I guess I just kind of gave it away. The exponent is that little number being the 2 there. So since the E is second, that means we always do the operations with exponents second. And again, we're not going to really worry about that this year. I underline D and M together. And that stands for division and multiplication. So an example of a mathematical expression could be 3 divided by 1 times 6 plus 2. The D and M are third. This means we always do the operations with division and multiplication third. However, this is important, we do these operations from left to right. So you might notice here that there is a division and a multiplication. They're at the same level. It's the third thing that's going to happen. But we go left to right. That means this is going to be first. This is going to be the second thing that happens. And then lastly, an A and the S. Now, if you if we say D and M is division multiplication, you could probably take a wild stab in the dark and that A and S stands for addition and subtraction. And again, they are grouped together. And a mathematical expression could be using them as three divided by one plus nine minus one. And just like the multiplication division, they're done last. However, again, because they're at the same level, we do them from left to right. So in this situation, well, this will always be first because division comes first. But here, these two are the exact same level, being the A and the S, okay? And that means from left to right, this will happen second, this will happen third. So again, in order, brackets, exponents, division and multiplication, addition and subtraction. Now, where did they get this idea of bedness? I guess technically it could be, well, the B, E are going to stay the same. Why isn't it, Mr. Hardy, why isn't it BEMDIS? Well, it could be, I guess. Or why isn't it, oh, I forgot something there, BEDSMA. Well, I think they came up with this because it, it can actually make phonetic sounds out of bedmus there. So, um, bedmus it is. So let's do some examples using that bedmus, and I'm going to write, I'm going to keep that bedmus at the top to help remind us um, the order that we need to do it. So we have, I want you to evaluate 16 minus 14 divided by two. So let's look at bedmus. What's first? Do we have brackets? No, we do not. Do we have exponents? No, we do not. Do we have division? Yes, we do. So we're going to start with that division. So it's good practice to show your work in the steps that you did this. So I have it written out. 14 divided by 7, sorry, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So I'm going to write a little 7 underneath my question. I'm going to rewrite this. 16 minus 7 equals... I'm showing my work, I'm, I'm going down a level, putting that 16 minus down there. And the reason we do that is so we don't lose track of all the operations we're doing. So 16 minus seven equals nine. So the answer here is nine. Okay, here's another one. Evaluate 18 minus 10 plus six. So do we have any brackets? No. Do we have any exponents? No. Division and multiplication? No, we do not. So we're actually gonna just do the addition subtraction and again the rule is because these two are at the same level 
we do them from left to right. So in order from left to right, 18 minus 10 is eight. I'm gonna rewrite that six because that's good practice. Eight plus six is 14. Okay, so that is the answer to that question. You with me so far? Okay, let's do this one. Evaluate seven times and then in brackets you have four plus eight. So even though multiplication becomes before addition and subtraction, there is this addition part in brackets and we have to do that first. So four plus, tw four plus eight is 12. So it's good practice again to now rewrite this. Seven times 12 is 84. Okay, so the answer there is 84. Now, just a little quick note about calculators. Um, some follow the order of operations, some do not. So if you are gonna use a calculator, which I'm not going to say you cannot, you can have, you're gonna have to experiment with it to see it, if it works or not. So um, if you try just entering it, you know, if I was to enter, maybe it's a good example, this guy here from order from left to right, it might work. But if I go, this one, 16 minus 14 divided by two, if I was to enter that, from left to right as written into your calculator, it may find the correct answer, it may not. So some calculators are a bit more fancy, um, especially the ones you get in high school for graphing and such, they probably can do that. A normal you know, dollar store calculator probably is not going to do that. So you actually have to do some work to make sure it goes in the correct order. So here I have three examples that I want you to pause and try it out on your own. And again, there's that bad miss at the top to help remind us. So I'm gonna get you to pause here, try all three, and let's see if you come up with the same answer that I do. Okay, let's start here. So um, do I have any brackets? No. Do I have any exponents? No. Do I have division and multiplication? Yes, I do, right there. So this 12 divided by three is four. So I'm gonna rewrite this, good practice. 25 minus four equals 21 is my correct answer. Next one, uh, I have two subtractions. Because it's this, you know, one, I'm gonna go from left to right. So 12 minus eight is four. Four minus four equals zero is the answer to that one. And on the third one here, brackets is first. So I'm gonna do what's in there. It's two plus nine is 11. So I'm gonna write seven times 11 equals 77 as the correct answer for that guy. Okay, just three more questions here. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, uh, sorry, again, I'm gonna get you to pause and try these out. And then again, see if you can find if I have the same answer. All right, uh, the first question, I have some, some work in brackets. So that has to be done first. So nine minus four is five. And I'm gonna rewrite 25 divided by five equals five is the correct answer. Again, I have more brackets. Nine plus six is 15. 15 divided by three is five. And then lastly, 12 minus five is seven. Eight times seven is 56. So again, uh, Bedmus is the key here. Brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. And when we talk about these two, we always go left to right. I hope that all makes sense. Order of operations, very key. If you wanna win some free prizes in life, especially in Canada, you're gonna to have to know this. So if anything, it's, you're doing it for your own greed. <laughs> all right, so um, have, a good, have a good day. And uh, again, remember in life, math happens. When you